is dead. Now you'll need another name. Unless, of course, you like jellyfish. <laughs> what about Iron Hand? What? Iron Hand. No, that sounds so lame. Uh, something uh, dark and mysterious. Dark Angel. Huh? Sounds pretty good, huh, Dark Angel? Ah, ah, I hereby christen you Dark Angel. <laughs> In the 15-year period, the Greater and Lesser Antilles became a stage for the robberies of two fearless pirates. One became admired and feared for his many adventures and his gruesome creativity. His name alone made people cringe. Many legends were based on him. He called himself Devil Claw. The other was admired for his temerity, his skill with weapons, and because of his humility. He was called Dark Angel. Behind us, the Spanish ship. Look starboard. Yes, yeah, Spaniards. They're sailing east, but we won't attack yet. We'll wait. What do you think? Thank you. The Bible in my hand as I went to sea. Bible in my hand as I went to sea. Never thought I'd live to see the day when I would feel like a land lover among my men. What the hell are you talking about? Ah, oh, stop it. I've lived long enough to know when I have to step down. I thank the Almighty that I still have arms and legs. They do what you say, and they look at you before following my orders. And they're right for doing it. Yeah, it was meant to be. Are they giving signals? No, but they are following our course. I have the feeling they are getting closer. And do they have cannons? Only half as many as we have. Exactly what we need. surprised. Ship ahoy, starboard! Steady as she goes! They're heading right for us. Yeah, yeah. Then we'll give them the broadside. Send them swimming with the fish. Come on, the rudder! It won't budge! Come on, help!
Thank you, Devil Claw. Uh, How often have you saved my life already? Give it to me already. There. Well, you'll have to find yourself another guardian angel. Have you forgotten? Death is my companion. Look over there. What's that? Water and get the hell out of here. The sooner the better. A woman. Bring her here. Come here. Come on, we won't hurt you. What do you make of it? They're still very young. Almost children. Let them go. Cut down the dead. Filed teeth. They must be from a Yucatan tribe. Uh, uh, what happened here? Who did this? The Spaniards. And they murdered them all. All of them. <laughs> Why? Why? What do you care? If it's not the Spaniards, then it's the pox or yellow fever? <laughs> Let's get our water and get the hell out of here. We've no more business here. Why did they do this? They were on Kanek's side. The one they call Black Snake. Just an ordinary rebel. Every 10 or 15 years, they wake up and elect a new king who has all sorts of fool ideas in his head. Then the Spanish send a few troops, and then this happens. They wanted to know about the other warriors, and then they asked about the treasure. About the treasure? What treasure are you talking about, hmm? Stop them! No! Bring them here! No! No! Oh! No! Now where is this treasure? Now oh, stop it! Leave them alone. They took everything already. That was just an excuse to kill them. Stay out of this, my boy. Come on already. Speak! Calm down. Leave them alone. Oh, no! Oh. No! Oh, I wasted my time with you. You're nothing but a puppet pirate. You're just a, an effeminate, conceited jackass. Uh, 80 ducats for 12 sacks of cocoa. Last year we only got half as many. That's pretty good. Good? The Spanish king is drowning us in copper coins. Pretty soon 100,000 ducats won't buy you a sucker fish. Next time. They pay in gold, or they get nothing. What kind of pirate are you, anyway? You can't drive a bargain. You don't know how much a barrel of silver is worth. And when there's a rich treasure to be had, you're not interested. And you call yourself a pirate. You're the biggest disappointment of my life. This is a unique offer, gentlemen. I have something very special for you. An extraordinary offer. Come